Hi, so this is a quick tutorial on importing a Word document into Scrivener and chopping it up into, in, into chapters. So uh, this is on a Mac, but as you can see, but it should work for PC too. Um, this is my old abandoned project, uh, which I really didn't think I was going to be looking at again for a while. But you can see how it's organized, quite regimented, into uh, folders. Those folders, when you export it, and Scrivener uses Word Compile, um, they become your chapters. Um, you can view them, if you're not familiar with Scrivener, you can view them in this card method. You can um, view them in, in columns, or you can just have the text. Um, so it's, it's really useful to make it sure it's organized um, down the side here, and you can put in photos and research and stuff like that. But if it's in this manuscript folder, that's your book. And when you come to compile it, using this button up here, you choose what you want, um, and it will format the different levels um, in different ways. And, and at the end, uh, and, and the output of it is is, is something that looks recognisably like a novel, which is great if you have been writing as you, in, in Scrivener all along and, and creating those files as you go along. But what if you've not been doing it that way? What if you have been uh, writing in Word and now want to import it? Well, let's get rid of this because I really didn't. I really would be quite happy if I don't see it again for quite a while. And um, let's open another one which I prepared earlier. Uh -huh. um, this is a completely blank novel template uh, on Scrivener. It's what you get when you first choose novel. Um, and this up here is the complete text of The Hound of the Baskervilles, um, which is available on Project Gutenberg um, in Word format. Um, how do you import it? Well, you just drag it. It will take a moment to convert it, um, and unfortunately, it, it does convert it quite narrowly. It's not as 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 as, as usefully formatted as we might like. Um, just so that I don't do my eyes in. Let's expand the text size. Right. So we have one file here with your Word document, and you can you can work on it. Uh, you can type it as as you wish. Um, but it's not in chapters. Is it easy to get it into chapters? You bet it is. Um, you just simply click and right click, and there's probably a menu command, I don't know. You right click and split at selection. And now you have um, two documents. And the first one only has what was before the split, and the second one only has what was after the split. Now that is useful, but look, the, the name isn't terribly helpful. So, just to make it as useful as possible, use a slightly different method. Select what you want as your file name, your chapter name, right click and choose split with selection as title. There you go, new document, chapter one, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. And when you compile, that's going to be there as, as your chapter header if you choose to include it. And then you can just go down to the second chapter as you wish. Yada 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 yada. Oh dear me. There we go. The Curse of the Baskervilles. Again, split the selection as title. There you go. And um, when you can, when you have enough to do it, organise them in folders. You're laughing. It really, really is as simple as that. And uh, I hope that was helpful.